My name is Mono, and I happen to be God's favorite guitarist. Yeah, so I was very much honored to be the person uh, who wrote the forward. And uh, to me, this book is a celebration. Because for those of you who do not know in Zimbabwe, being a musician carried the stigma. If you're a man, you were called a vagabond. If you're a woman, you're called a loose woman. We are called all sorts of names just because you are a musician and we're considered to be dumb. We're just supposed to entertain. So the era of dumb musicians is over, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are no longer dumb, we have authors, they have also written about three books. And one thing I like about the poems is the poems are very weird and strange. That's one thing about being a musician. <laughs> And uh, it provokes critical thinking, because I'm a big fan of critical thinking. Because I think education is divided into two. There's education where you are just taught to conform, just to read and to write. And in Zimbabwe, if you speak good English, you are very educated and you are very wise. Everybody wants to listen to you. And if you speak uh, English with a ghetto accent like me, you are considered dumb. Then there's education which teaches you to critically think, to solve problems, to innovate. And sometimes I even think with things, but when we celebrate uh, high literacy, which side are we celebrating? The conformity side, the way we are just reading and writing, or we are celebrating the critical thing inside. But with books like this one, you know, what will be, you know, this you know, so well done work. And uh, thank you for representing us musicians. Makorkoto That's the only the only way which I can speak together with Umklabat.